It is common knowledge that you can easily check the operability of a fixed fail resistor, and it is harder to check variable resistors. Now I will show you how to do this. An ohm meter is used to check the probability of both fixed value and variable resistors. For this purpose, connect one ohm meter probe to the middle resistor vein and the other to the end vein. Turn slowly the variable resistor's axis. If the resistor is operable, the ohm meter's needle will move smoothly when you turn the axis. Flickering and leaps show that contacts are the resistor's brush with the current carrier. If the ohm meter's needle does not move, the resistor does not work. Repeat the check by connecting the other ohm meter's probe to the second resistor's end vein. You need to repair a fault resistor or replace it with a new, if possible. For this purpose, open the resistor box, wash the current carrier with spirit, check it for any visible damage and grease it with thin oil film. Then reassemble the resistor and check the contact reliability. When you check if variable resistors are interchangeable, take account of resistance changes based on axis turn angle. Resistor specifications depend on its function in the circuit. For instance, to ensure even volume control in audio frequency amplifier, you should use a variable resistor with a resistance change dependency B group. And precise and smooth tuning circuits, for example, frame linear control systems use linear dependency transistors A group. Note that you need to check the operability of any radio element including resistors before mounting it into the circuit. Though this check may seem to be time-consuming, it may help you save time as it is hard to detect faults when you have already soldered all the components to the chipboard.